Okay, this is a video tutorial for the uh, screen replacement on a Toshiba Satellite L745-S4310. Essentially what I've done is uh, I've already removed a few of the screws for uh, speediness of the video. What you're going to need is a small Phillips and a small flathead. You would use the flathead to remove little black covers that will be on all four points of the screen very carefully set those aside um, after that you just remove the screws set those aside and very gently pry the plastic casing off the screen And be careful because the plastic is sharp. I have been cut before doing this. Um, after the plastic is mostly off, what you're probably going to need to do is use the screwdriver to assist in pulling the bottom off. And set that aside. What you're going to do now is just remove the two screws at the very bottom very carefully. You might need to hold it steady. So that's what holds the back on as well. And set those aside. Afterwards, what you're going to do is remove four screws from the very sides of the screen, the uh, bracket mount, set those aside as well. and the screen will be completely detached. The wires will be, most cases, taped on the back of the screen. So you have to be very careful and remove the tape. Remove the tape, it should be unplugged very easily. In this case, this laptop screen has been glued down very well. The manufacturer did not want it to come loose. Once that has been removed, there's the broken screen. So I'm going to set that aside. Take the new screen, make sure it's lined up in the same fashion, and simply reconnect it in the same order. Very gently. So 
the trickiest part due to all the tape and glue the manufacturer used. But when you push it in very gently, it should click very softly, letting you know that it's in. And you can just press the tape all back down. And what you want to do is lift it back up and remove the tape gently in order to replace the screws that you removed from the bracket mount in the prior step. You get the first two screws in, one on each side, it will become very simple after that. Moving the tape from the other side. left-handed. Make sure not to over-tighten the screws because that could cause damage to the screen. And remove the plastic protecting cover. Going to replace the bottom screws again. Place the cover just like I had taken it off. When I replace this cover, simply putting a little minor pressure on it, getting it clicked back into place to all that's needed. I would simply replace all four of these screws around the four corners and if you feel necessary you can put the little black coverings back on as well. And that's the screen replacement.